Right now at noon, police searching for a suspect considered armed and dangerous in this Southside neighborhood. Good afternoon. Police were originally searching for two suspects on Southside Boulevard between Atlantic and Beach. One was arrested this morning, but right now the search continues for that second person. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Spicer joins us live from the scene. Neighbors being told to stay inside and keep their doors locked, huh? They are, Bruce, even though police did clear the scene about an hour ago. That's the advice because they are still looking for that other suspect. You can see here the uh, it's Southside Boulevard where I'm at, but there's a service road here, and that's what was blocked earlier. A lot of police presence here. Uh, two were believed to be armed and dangerous, but yes, one was arrested. That other still out there. An officer at the scene did tell residents to stay inside, keep the doors locked. There was a black sedan here on scene off on the service road. In fact, it was kind of near the uh, light pole here. You can actually see some type of rut in the grass. So we don't know what happened with that car, why it was here, but it was towed away. Not sure if it's evidence, if it was a part of a crash, how it really fit into this crime scene, but we're going to find out those answers. Uh, neighbors say really at this point, they're not surprised to see police in their area, though. Last week there was a drive by what I heard on the news not far from where I live here. They had the service road blocked off because uh, the car went through the medium strip. Some neighbors off camera said that they've heard it's an armed robbery, but we do not have that confirmed with police yet. I have put in calls to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, hoping to find out exactly what that call was out here. But they do say someone is still on the loose. So to be careful and be on the lookout for anybody that seems unusual. If you see somebody that seems out of place, call police. I'm live Ashley Spicer, Channel 4, the local station.